Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Choi, the current fellow of ZIFO. Today, we want to introduce our new paper, Serenoxer in combination with protein and premedacid in the patient with advanced or metastatic solid tumors. The result of an open rival single center multi M phase 1B study published on February 9, 2020. 2022. And then today we have the one of the investigator, Dr. Kiao Dan, now assistant professor the OSHU. Hi, Dr. Dan. Uh, Introduce yourself first to all of the Hi, um, mm -hmm. I'm Joe Dane, an assistant professor uh, at the o Oregon Health and Science University, mm -hmm. Night Cancer. Okay, so thanks so much. Thanks so much. And then let's dive into our talk. The first question, uh, could you explain the pathway of the X41 and the mechanism of the Serenex or the inhibitor of XP01? Yeah, so the those are kind of the nuclear export proteins um, mm -hmm. called proteins. So they are important in the regulating the conveyance of those kind of, you know, we call the bulky, the cargo molecules mm -hmm. through the nuclear, um, mm -hmm. you know, so the those are important in uh, you know preserving the cellular homeostasis, mm -hmm. and kind of so we are kind of uh, interested in uh, targeting, uh, especially in our uh, cancer drug development. So at least there are seven um, uh, exponents, and exponent one, the XPO one, is this um, right now is the most highly characterized uh, protein. So the, they are kind of important in translocating like, you know, the more than 200 regulatory proteins, uh, including the tumor suppressor proteins. So then the, um, the derangement in, especially in that the transport mechanism can cause or as well as the app regulation of the, those, the, the transporter XP1 uh, important in the tumor genesis. So that's why kind of we are interested becoming more interested in the targeting as the drug uh, therapeutic target. So the uh, so right now that the selective inhibitors of those nuclear exponents are XPO1. So like you know uh, the export. So, so we are developed you know to modulate that synchrony. So then um, so the selenexor is just one of the sign compound to kind of you know um, block the. That's a kind of first in class orally bioavailable uh, potent selective um, inhibitor of the nuclear export. So right now it is currently approved in the FDA. Um, uh, by the uh, in a myeloma, myeloma and also the uh, lymphoma. Okay, I see. So the next question: What is the aim of the study, and could you tell me us more about the design of the clinical trial? Yes. So the this is the open label uh, single arm, uh, you know, um, single center multi arm, you know, single center multi arm uh, phase one B study, and so like you know, um, and one of that you know that. Uh, arm is the carboplatin uh, uh, plus the pamitraxate. So which one, which is used in many solid tumors. And uh, that in vivo study, like the preclinical studies have shown that the selenexor plus the, uh, those uh, standard uh, different chemotherapies exert like the different, uh, you know, the demonstrate like the synergistic activity. So we, right now that study is like, you know, uh, we use this uh, three plus, uh, standard three plus three design and a basic type expansion. Hey, that's good. And then how about the result and its interpretation? So that this study, um, so like um, the, the study, I kind of, we included like, you know, all adult patients above 18 years old with histologically documented, you know, relapsed um, metastatic refractory solid tumors after like, you know, standard therapy kind of runs out or addition of the selenexor to the systemic therapy was uh, appropriate. So the primary objective of the study, like, you know, for the safety and tolerability of the uh, selenexor, one given in combination with the standard chemotherapy regimens. And the, the secondary objective is, is for the, uh, to determine the preliminary tumor activity. So the ESSA, um, you know, um, that for that particular arm, we enrolled a total of uh, six patients with advanced metastatic solid tumors. Um, and the cancer types are like the two 
with ovarian cancer, one thymoma, one cervical, and uh, one rectal and one non-small cell lung cancer. So all patients, um, they experienced uh, one, at least one treatment-related adverse events. And then the most common uh, uh, treatment-related adverse events are hematological toxicities, especially like thrombocytopenia, neutropenia, leukopenia, uh, and also the nausea and fatigue. And uh, the highest, also like, you know, the, the high grade um, treatment related adverse events are also like hematological uh, toxicities, um, including the thrombocytopenia, neutropenia, and anemia. And uh, uh, also like, you know, uh, there's some kind of, you know, um, fatigue uh, and nausea as well. And one patient dosed at a, a Salinexor 40 milligram weekly experienced um, uh, dose limiting toxicity. And um, two other patients had um, dosed at a cellulinex of 60 milligram uh, weekly experience uh, um, SA of special interest, but uh, we kind of concluded, like kind of, you know, uh, consider and related to the study drug. Uh, so four patients regarding the efficacy, so four patients completed their first uh, restating scans uh, per protocol, and uh, therefore like, you know, um, those are available for the efficacy. So out of those uh, patients, um, a patient with the lung, adenocarcinoma uh, got the unconfirmed uh, partial response and other two patients, one with the ovarian and another one with the cervical cancer had a stable disease, but uh, we didn't have uh, any patients like, you know, uh, with a complete response. And um, those are kind of the, but no patients kind of dying during the study. So out of those six patients, those are the study um, results. Okay. And so what is the what is the clinical significance and its limitation of this trial? Yeah, um, actually, you know, this is the first study uh, being kind of, you know, um, evaluated, like, you know, uh, being done, especially like on you know, a combining the Selenexor in combination with the, the most common, you know, uh, utilized regimen like the carbon pamitraxate. Uh, um, so the previously single agent, like, you know, this uh, Selenexor studies, they've shown, um, you know, the, the most like kind of the uh, toxicities were kind of uh, fatigue and hematological uh, lab abnormalities, uh, but ranging from like kind of about six to 21% in those uh, uh, single agent studies. Ours is like kind of a um, combination uh, of Lenexor with the two, you know, the double chemotherapies. And we have seen there's some kind of, you know, higher incidence um, of the uh, high-grade uh, hematological uh, lab abnormalities. And um, uh, in our study, uh, when, you com when we combine with those, uh, the doublet, the chemotherapy, we uh, employ the um, uh, weekly uh, salinexor dosing in contrast to the other previous like uh, monotherapy studies where the salinexor is mostly kind of given as the kind of twice weekly, you know, um, fashion. Uh, but still, you know, even uh, we, um, when we apply like kind of the um, weekly uh, dosing, we still kind of notice like there are higher incidence of the, some hematological uh, lab abnormalities. So regarding like, you know, uh, the, the numbers is still, uh, is a small. So, um, you know, we cannot really kind of, you know, um, uh, showed uh, uh, much. But it's still like, you know, uh, out of even if with this, like the uh, number of like patients that we um, um, uh, studied, um, we have seen limited clinical activity uh, with, of course, like, you know, um, some higher uh, hematological uh, toxicities, lab ab abnormalities. So the, um, so, and also the RP duty, the purpose of our studies is safety and uh, tolerability in the uh, preliminary anti uh, preliminary kind of anti tumor activity. Uh, the, so the RP duty of our uh, Selenexor was set at like the forty milligram weekly in combination with the carbo and pamitraxate, uh, but the study arm uh, was not pursued uh, for like uh, dose expansion uh, because of that uh, the toxicities and the lack of efficacy. So like in uh, regard to you know, um, uh, this uh, regimen, when you're gonna uh, uh, combine uh, Salinexor with uh, uh, chemotherapies, I believe, you know, we believe that, you know, the proper utility of the growth factors, uh, as well as the optimizing the supportive care uh, is gonna be crucial in, in this combination strategy. 
Thank you so much. Anyway, yeah, thank you again for giving a nice and excellent talk about your clinical trial. As you mentioned, the Serenexo is the first drug of XP1 inhibitor, also approved in hematologic malignancy. And we can broaden its clinical usage to solid tumor based on this phage one trial. So any other comment you, you want to tell now? Oh, yeah, actually, you know, so right now the cell nexus is approved in the, you know, like you mentioned, like the hematological malignancy. So we're trying to expand into, you know, our kind of, you know, the solid tumor world, uh, but it's still like, you know, we don't know, uh, you know, we still kind of, you know, uh, don't know what might be the, you know, the best um, strategy or the best solution and what might be the best optimal regimen, you know, especially, and also like the dosing wise, those are still like kind of, the, um, you know, the very valid question uh, to explore. So I think, you know, we still need to learn uh, more about how it might be the kind of, you know, how we can kind of, you know, achieve uh, in our solid tumor world. And it's still like, you know, that's a kind of, you know, uh, interesting uh, therapeutic target. Uh, only thing is like, you know, how and when and where we can employ, you know, uh, best employed in our um, uh, oncology patients. Yeah, that's a good point and very crucial. <laughs> yeah, just replicating the clinical screen because, okay, thank you so much. And have a nice, maybe it's Wednesday, Wednesday afternoon or yeah. evening. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, thanks so much. Bye. Bye.